The Frisian horse is a stunning breed of pure black horse that is known for its flowing mane and tail as well as its flamboyant and showy movement. They have feathered hooves, which are characteristic of draft breeds, but their bodies are more like those of lighter riding horses. Frisians typically range in height from 15 to 17 hands and are adaptable enough to take part in any activity or discipline, nevertheless. They are most frequently seen being used for dressage or as carriage horses due to the fact that their movement is so captivating. They got their name from the region of Friesland, which is now a part of the Netherlands, where they first appeared. Continue watching to learn some more interesting facts about this dazzling species. But first, subscribe to our channel for more amazing horse videos. Number 10. It's possible that they've been around since the year 1000 BC. It is believed that the Frisian horse is a direct descendant of the forest horse, making it one of the oldest breeds of horses. Tacitus, a Roman historian, made mention of the breed's existence between the years 55 and 120 AD and referred to them as a kind of horse that was both exceedingly powerful and adaptable. In addition, German and Frisian knights utilized Frisian horses as their primary mode of transportation during the Crusades. Number 9. Frisian horses almost became extinct despite the fact that they were quite popular in the early centuries. During the 16th and 17th centuries, there was a significant boom in the popularity of the Frisian horse. Additionally, the Frisian breed served as an inspiration for a great number of more recent breeds that were only beginning to appear. Despite this, Frisians began to experience a population fall at the beginning of the 20th century as the use of horsepower for agricultural work began to give way to the use of machines. By the year 1913, there were just three Frisian stallions still living in their native province of Friesland. On the other hand, the breed saw a renaissance during World War II, when severe fuel shortages once more made it essential to rely on horsepower. Number 8. The Frisian breed was a significant factor in the evolution of other horse breeds. Frisians are one of the oldest breeds, and as a result, they had an impact on the development of a number of other breeds over the course of time. In the early stages of their evolution, Oldenburgers, Shire horses, and smaller ponies such as Fellendale's ponies all inherited some lineages that descended from Frisian horses. Because of the striking likeness between Frisian horses and Morgan horses, it is commonly believed that Morgan horses are descended from Frisian horses. Number 7. You'll frequently see Frisian horses in movies and other forms of entertainment. A large number of people are familiar with Frisians as a result of the 1985 film Lady Hawk, which featured a Frisian stallion by the name of Othello. In addition to that, they appeared in the movies The Mask of Zorro, Aragon, and 300. It is also possible to see Frisian horses in a variety of exhibitions and events, as well as in the context of a circus or other live entertainment. Because of their distinctive appearance and dazzling movement, they are attractive candidates for employment in a wide variety of entertainment industries. Number 6. There are in fact two different ways that their name might be spelled. In order to differentiate between the horse breed and the Holstein Frisian cattle breed, the breed's name was frequently spelled as Frisian when written in English. Despite this, breed dictionaries and animal registries consistently spell the name of both the horse and cattle breed as Frisian, with a E included in the word. At this point in time, the spelling Frisian is by far the most prevalent and popular one for the breed. Number 5. Some Frisians arrived in the United States long before the nation of the United States was even a concept. The Dutch colonists who established New Amsterdam, later renamed New York, in the 1600s were the ones responsible for introducing Frisian horses to the continent of North America. Frisians, sometimes known as Dutch trotters, were brought to the United States to assist in the cultivation of terrain that had previously been uncultivated. Number 4. Not all Frisian horses have a black coat. There are very few instances in which chestnut Frisians are found. Yet, it is well knowledge that Frisian horses have a solid black coat color. However, because chestnut is not considered to be a desirable hue by the official Frisian stud book, chestnut stallions are not permitted to be registered. Despite this, there are a few chestnut mares and geldings who are eligible for registration since they still possess other desirable Frisian traits. Because chestnut Frisians are unable to be enrolled in the Frisian stallion stud book if they are found to contain the chestnut gene, chestnut Frisians are becoming an increasingly rare sight in today's breeding programs. 
Chestnut Frisian horses are sometimes referred to as Fire Frisians, and Frisian Heritage is still able to process registrations for these horses. Number 3. There are specific carriages created just for Frisians. In the 18th century, the province of Friesland, which is where the Frisian horse breed was first established, was the location where the magnificent carriage that was constructed specifically for the Frisian horse was designed. This vehicle, which was known as the Frisian Skis, was designed to be pulled by Frisian horses and was given that name as a result. The word chair in English was originally taken from the French word chaise, which is where we get our word skis. These carts are incredibly sophisticated and pay close attention to detail. There is a standard operating procedure that must be followed for these carriages, for instance, the wheels must be 1.5 meters or higher and have 14 spokes, but the carts always have their own distinctive design, which means that no two are exactly the same. Number 2. Frisians are a breed of horses that are not very common. Even though Frisians are one of the breeds that have been around the longest, you won't find too many of them in most regions of the world. Frisians, particularly those who are already completely trained, have a tendency to be more expensive than other types of horses. On the other hand, they have a tendency to be encountered more frequently in particular disciplines, such as driving and dressage. Number 1. Frisians usually do not have any white marks on their bodies. Because horses of the Frisian breed are expected to be completely black, the majority of registries for this breed do not allow horses to be registered if they have an excessive amount of white markings. The majority of white markings on a horse are taken by registries to be evidence that the animal is not of pure Frisian breeding. The sole identifying mark that can be placed on a registered Frisian is a little star in white that is placed on the horse's forehead. Here's a bonus fact. In the Netherlands, Frisian horses have maintained their popularity. At the turn of the 20th century, the Frisian breed was dangerously close to becoming extinct everywhere in the world. There were only three Frisian breeding stallions available at the time for the entire breed of Frisian horses. Thankfully, they account for approximately 7% of the entire horse population in the Netherlands at the present time. It is unsettling to consider the possibility of extinction for a breed that is both so ancient and so lovely. The internet contains a wealth of additional information and history pertaining to Frisian horses. They are a breed that is genuinely one of a kind and smart, and they should be acknowledged and honored for the uniqueness that they possess. It is nearly difficult not to fall in love with a creature as majestic and royal as the Frisian horse, even the ancients were impressed by them. If you are a horse enthusiast, it is nearly impossible not to fall in love with the Frisian horse. These were the 10 interesting things we learned about Frisian horses. In the following comments, please share your thoughts on these incredible horses with me. They look like one of your favorite breeds, don't they? If you want to know more about horses, subscribe to our channel right away.